What is up everyone? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be talking about how to import all your podcasts to your blog. So let's get started. So let's say now after you've made your podcast such as myself, I made one as well and now you want to start a website and you want to increase your presence there, you want to start blogging, you want to start writing articles, but you know you want to have all your podcasts there as well. And now you don't want to, let's say you made 50 episodes and you don't want to download and upload them all the time. You don't want to copy your show notes. And then every single time you up upload an episode, you don't want to do that. That's just extra work on your hand. Luckily, there's a lot of plugins out there that can do exactly that for you for free basically and instantaneously and we're going to be speaking on one of the plugins that uh, i am personally using for my website uh so the plugin we're going to be specifically focused on is called podcast importer second line there's two more that are very useful but i'm trying i'm keeping them off for the sake of this specific theme is Bl uh, blueberry power press and there's also seriously simple podcasting these work for really well as well they have like their own specific features and they work very well with specific themes as well mine is a very minimalistic theme and i didn't want to like, necessarily import those so i i kind of took a step back and did not use those um now once you have that pot the plugin installed you're going to hover over to tools so it actually goes into tools it doesn't really show up anywhere on the left hand side over here is within tools itself and it's called podcast import second line uh, and again it's an extremely simple yet effective tool and you can clearly see like what it does and what it doesn't do you just put your podcast feed url so you you get this from wherever you're hosting your podcast for me it's podbean so i get mine from there uh you play plug it in here and then it starts the thing like you tell it what type of is it a post what is it uh if it's a podcast like i said certain uh, themes have a podcast section that you can have you can either publish it or save it as draft the author who if you have multiple people on your pod, uh, website you can tell like you know specifically tell it who's who you can change it afterwards as well and you can categorize it i've made a podcast category so i put it there um this is you scheduling it doing the first load and then scheduling it as well then there's ongoing import so you want to obviously continuously do this like i just uploaded an episode today and within an hour it should be on the website uh you want if you want to import uh episode feature images as well and then if you want to app append number episodes to the post dialogue and then they also use an embedded audio player instead of the default word plus player and i'll show you what that means and then at boom at the bottom you can see my feed is now set up and every once an hour it will post podcast basically on my website and just to give you a visual perspective you can see over here uh since i just uploaded the podcast like 15 minutes ago i'm assuming the sync hasn't happened yet it should in an hour like resync and upload the latest episode but you can see episode 20 which was synced over and published is here and just to show you how the again it's an extremely minimalistic website i'm still kind of working on it uh but you can see like uh I, and i explicitly tell it to not show the featured image so you can see it just says episode 20 should you get your home refinanced uh says my name when it was published again it was instantaneous you can see the play button there as well this is the normal word plus player uh, wordpress player i should say you can have your own embedded player in here you can put spotify you can put apple music again it's completely your preference um, it copies all my show notes directly it copies all my links it keeps the formatting the same as well this is why it's extremely beneficial for me to keep it this way and boom you can have your comments at the bottom and then your you know, usual stuff <laughs> and then that's it you're good to go you literally have your podcast now straight up imported to your website and your blog and again this helps you for seo purposes the show notes are transferring over um and yeah you can do all these other things as well so definitely would recommend you guys to give it a shot um if you overall found the video helpful and informative please smash that like button it helps a lot if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell other than that fnh out peace